Hi, in this video we will be discussing how to find missing number of elements using a Venn diagram. In this question here they say of 430 consumers polled, some purchase music on CDs, some only download music and some do both. So I can tell from reading this that there are two groups of people. Some people only purchase music on CDs and the others download music. Some people do both. So that's an intersection between two sets. Or this is the intersecting part in my Venn diagram. Now they say here, if 280 people pulled purchase CDs, so this is my first number that I need to take care of. So I know here that there are 280 people uh, purchase CDs and 220 people purchase CDs and download music. So this is the intersection I have. How many people download music? The other number I need to care, take care of is the total number of people that has been in that survey. Now, before I do anything, I need to name my sets. Here in the Venn diagram, I'm gonna write that this red circle here represents the people who do purchase CDs while that green one represents people who download music. As we discussed before, when I fill the, the a Venn diagram, I'm going to start from the inside out. So I'm going to start with the intersection. So I know that there are 220 people here who do both. So once I'm done with that, I can cancel it out. So 220 people here is the number of elements. There are 220 individuals who do both. I'm going to go back and find that 280 purchase CDs. When they say 280 purchase CDs, it means all the elements within that red circle should be 280. I can't write 280 here. Everything in the red circle should be 280. So the number I need to write here is people who purchase CDs only. So for CDs only, what do I have? I have the total which is 280 minus the intersection which is 220 so I know that it's 60 only here I can put 60 why do I put 60 here because when I add it with the 220 I'll get 280 to fill this group so the number of elements in this group is 280 as written here now I've checked that this is correct the question is asking me about how many people download music. Now the problem is that I don't know how many people are here. This is the missing number of elements I'm looking for. So I'm going to write x here as a variable. And once you write a variable, you need to make sure that you define that variable. So I'm going to write that let x be the number of people that only download music. Okay, and you need to write it only. Looking at this, I know that x, which is the number of people who only download music, plus the intersection, which is 220, plus the 60 people who only download, um, use CDs, all of them together should be equal to the total, which is 430. So I'm going to write that as an equation. I'm going to say that 60 plus 220 plus x, that means everything here, should be equal to the total number of people, which is 430. Now, we know that this is 280 plus x equals 430, and I can find that the value of x is 150. Now, this is the value of people who actually only download music. Now, but is that the question I have? No, that's not it. The question I had was, how many people download music? They didn't say only. This means, if they did not say only, it means how many people download music in all. So I need the total number of people within this circle. So to answer that, I'm going to write the sentence, the number of people. download music excuse my handwriting it's terrible is 220 plus the 150 we have and that's together is going to make 
370. Okay, why did I write 370? Because they did not say only. If they say only, it means they want people in that group. But because they didn't, they want the total number of people that are in this set or the total elements in the set of people.